Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kyra, and here on this channel, we're all about real makeup for real life and real people. As you would have seen from the title is a collaboration with a brand but it is also a summer night get ready with me we're talking glowy skin things that are gonna look nice and low light and I'm really excited to share with you how I prepped my skin today so a little while back I had a brand reach out to me they're called La Coes but they wanted to send me a gift of a facial oil in exchange for my honest review and sharing with you guys in whatever way I saw fit in one of my videos. So I thought today would be a perfect time to do that because we're talking about glowy skin. When I'm going out for the nighttime, I'm not so much concerned about longevity. I wanna look good in low light. I wanna be a little bit more sultry than normal, and I think you are gonna to love today's look. So, the oil that La Coes sent me is this one right here. It is their Revitalize Nutrient Organic Face Oils. This is $108. I feel you pulling away. I understand but this is a beautiful combination of 15 organic ingredients and oils and I just want to share it with you I also received from the brand this little white jade gua sha tool this is just something that's meant to sort of work puffiness out of the skin it's stone and so it always feels cold it's just really really nice and I am by no means an expert but it feels really nice <laughs> one of the cool things about the brand is that they only have one product they put all their time effort love hard work blood sweat tears into this one product also every active ingredient is grown from organic farm and harvested at the peak of the season to ensure the nutrients remain in their most potent form, free from parabens, colorants, additives, mineral or palm oils, sulfates, PEGs, TEA, DEA, phthalates, GMOs, silicone, synthetic fragrances, endocrine disruptors, carcinogens, dyes, alcohol, pesticides, or toxins of any kind. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the little demo of the face oil. This has been sitting on my skin now for about 30 minutes and I think it has absorbed really well. I do have combo to oily skin, but I actually really enjoy this product. I'm not here to tell you to go and buy a $100 face oil, but I do really enjoy this one. I do give it my stamp of approval. I really like this. I use it most nights by adding a few drops to my hand and then I actually add my moisturizer with that, rub it all together, apply it to my skin, and if I'm feeling extra bougie, I bust out the white jade gua sha tool. So I'm by no means an expert as you would have seen in the demo and using this yet, but I am learning and it does feel really nice. So with all of that said, thank you to La Coes for sending me this beautiful face oil and gua sha tool as a gift. And I will have all of the information that you guys might need linked down in the description box below. So let's get on with the show. I'm gonna start out with my Misha BB Cream in the shade 27. This is my summer shade. And when I want my skin to look extra flawless, I like to apply with a brush first and then go in with a sponge. And I just find that this is the way that I get the best coverage, but also the best skin-like finish. And of course, foundation is always optional on my channel because I personally don't wear foundation every day. And I love the glow that is coming out in my skin thanks to the La Coes oil. I mentioned I have combo to oily skin and 
so this makeup would not last on me for eight hours or what have you but that's okay because we're talking about a night out maybe dinner maybe a movie in which case nobody's looking at your makeup I'm now just going to take my AOA Studios pawpaw sponge and press over everything make sure we are blended no extra product and making sure we have the most skin like finish possible and then to keep on with that skin like finish i'm going to pull in my bare minerals bare skin complete coverage serum concealer i have this shade light this is definitely one of my favorite concealers hopefully not too light for me right now but it just feels like nothing on the under eye and it also just looks like you've had the best sleep of your life the nice thing about this concealer however is it does have amazing coverage even though it's super hydrating and blends out beautifully my little mustache cover up a little melasma you know you love the mustache it's super cute I'm gonna quickly set the under eyes with my number seven lift and luminate triple action finishing powder I have the shade light but again it is translucent I love this powder it is very very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless powder and it does a beautiful job of smoothing out the under eyes I'm gonna start by adding a little color to my skin or back into my skin with the tower 28 bronzino this is in the shade West Coast pray for me <laughs> I have not used this product a lot yet because I got it in fall last year and so I, I don't have woo I don't have very much experience with it and it is extremely shimmery I like the sort of reddish tone to it makes it like very believable in terms of being uh, like an actual sun-kissed skin moment That's a really pretty. For highlighter, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Lunch Money color. It's really soft gold and I just really enjoy this highlighter. And I want, because the skin is quite glowy, I do want to keep things just a little bit more soft. Things that are going to be caught by candlelight or low lighting, like I said, but I think that is the way to go. And also, I'm planning quite a sultry eye look, so I feel like I want to keep the skin a little bit more natural. And for blush, I'm going to use an all-time favorite, the Flower Beauty Blush Balm in the shade Pinched. So the way I like to apply this is to add it to the back of my hand and then pick it up with my sponge to apply. So there it is. This is a really pretty nude blush, I feel like. So I'm picking up about half of the product on the back of my hand and just working this into the cheeks with my sponge. I just, it's such a pretty natural shade. And now, if you thought I was not going to powder my face, you would be mistaken. I'm gonna use the LYS Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. This is in the shade Resilience, which I believe is the first shade. Love this powder. I had it in my Shop My Stash in May, I believe. And I love this powder because it does set my makeup in place, but without taking away all of the glow from my skin. And I really appreciate that. I feel like this is a nice price point for a powder, around $20. And as much as I've used this, it doesn't even really look like I have. So I'm very happy 
with this powder. And with that mumbo jumbo, it's time for a brow break. I'm gonna pop off of here, apply some eyeshadow primer and my brows, and I will be right back. Now, I did painstakingly pick a palette for this video, but it was so hard. But I went with the Natasha Denona bronze palette. This was all the rage last summer and it is still available. Unlike some of the other palettes, I might've picked like Elf Retro Paradise. And in case you haven't seen it, it looks like this. But I do have a secret weapon in my pocket that is not from this palette, so stay tuned. The first shade I'm gonna go into is this shade right here called Suntan. One of my favorite shades in this palette, actually. It's just a, such a pretty sort of rosy terracotta shade, but it's also like a little deeper than a lot of terracotta shades, and I just absolutely adore it. I've worn it as its own one shadow matte look multiple times and adore that as well. A lot of times when I'm working on a dark eye look or a more sultry eye look like this, I like to put my crease shade in first and really perfect the shape that I want. And then I'll go in with a lighter shade and blend it out or soften it. So let's go ahead and go in with this shade called Beach to blend things out. I'm gonna start in the front part of the crease and just kind of allow this lighter shade to be present there before I start going in to blend. And then we'll have more of a gradient. Alrighty, now is where things get fun and interesting. I'm going to be adding in these cooler tones from the palette today, and I think they go really beautiful with the warmer tones included in the palette. So I'm gonna start things off with this deep dark creamed powder shade called Deep Dive. All right, so I'm gonna pick that up on a pencil brush here. And I really just kind of wanna define the outer corner with this shade. Okay, we're back. The mascara I used was the e.l.f. Lash It Loud mascara. I am still loving it. We're gonna let the curls down. Hopefully they can semi-dry. This is, it's cute, right? All right, so I still feel like I need a little more blush. You know I love my blush. And one of my favorite blushes to layer over the top of the Flower Beauty Blush Balm is the, from the NARS Make Up Your Mind palette. And it's this shade right here, which is called Luster. Kind of the peachy version of the NARS, you know what, blush. Not a ton of base pigment, but it also has a lot of sheen and it does really pair beautifully over the top of the blush bomb. See, I like that better already. <laughs> I'm such a blush girl, so blushy. Are we ready for lips? I think we are. First, I'm gonna line and partially fill in or contour my lips with the Milani Understatement Lip Liner in the shade Nude Entrance, nothing new. Hopefully you can see things look a little fuller. When I go out, to dinner or a night out, 
I really like to stick with a gloss. I don't want anything that's high maintenance that I'm gonna have to keep checking on and I'm not a fan of liquid lipstick. So I like to do a lip liner like this. This one is relatively long lasting, but there's plenty of good lip liners out there for gloss today. Going with one of the Lux lip oils from the Garden Variety collection. This is the shade Gen Zen, and you'll just see it has a ton of micro sparkle and not a lot of color to it, but it looks absolutely stunning on the lips. And it's comfy. It's not gonna have a weird wear down. It's just beautiful. I've already finished one of these lip oils. I feel like it's not really translating as much on camera. I don't know why. All right, beautiful people. This is a wrap. I hope you enjoyed today's Get Ready With Me featuring some glowy products, a really beautiful face oil that I'm happy to have. Thank you again to La Coest for reaching out to me for this collaboration. Again, all of the information on the brand, etc., will be linked down in the description box, as well as all of the products that I used on my face today. Let me know, what do you think of this sultry nighttime look? What do you tend to go for for a nighttime look that's gonna look beautiful in low lighting or no lighting, you never know. So with all of that said, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I love your faces and I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days and I will see you in my next video real soon.